are up to video number six in our 10 part series talking about creating a demand for your DJ services with Dr. Drax. The full playlist link down below in the description, you click on that and you'll see all 10 videos and you'll be able to go and pick and choose. This one, we're going to, we're going to be in kind of a three part mini series talking about how to dazzle with performance. Part one of this is almost the getting started in the planning state. And that's really important, Drax. And I'm, I'm afraid that a lot of people kind of overlook this when they're trying to dazzle with their performance. Why is that important? The reason it's important because if you fail to plan, you're going to plan to fail, basically. Mm -hmm. I used to run scuba diving charters off the coast of Southern California. One of the key elements when we were going to go down to a wreck off Catalina Island, it's in 110 feet of water. Mm. Well, 110 feet deep water. There becomes a, a plans required of we're going to go down at this rate, we're going to spend this much time. We'll, you know, meet here. We will start the ascent. You have to have a plan. If you don't plan the event for the customer, then you have what the book calls, oh, man, they had a horrible planner. Well, the reality is every wedding or a party is an entertainment event by its very nature. Yep. It doesn't mean you have to do all the planning, but you should be integral to the planning. If they have a professional planner, great. I've had many great positive experiences with planners. But the element that you want to have is you want a timeline. Be it a wedding, a corporate event, it doesn't matter. There needs to be a timeline. For example, think of it like if you were creating a movie. Does everybody like to watch two hours of home movies? <laughs> yeah. No. Yes. But we'll all sit down and watch a great, fun, engaging movie that was produced by a major director, Spielberg or what have you. Mm -hmm. A good friend of mine took his home movies and he made them cinematography kind of thing. It was about their camping trip to Twin Lakes up in Idaho. And they did some water skiing. Well, it wasn't the typical home movie because it was cut and edited and so there was the action parts, and they created a little novella. They actually wrote a script for the movie they were going to shoot on vacation. Oh, wow. Well, you know, and it was fun as a person that isn't in their family but was a friend to watch the film because it was fun and entertaining. Mm -hmm. So what you want to think about, the event needs to be fun and entertaining, and it needs to have different emotional moments, different tenor. And Curtis Whipple always says that any great event, the music is going to have an arc. Well, it does. It needs to come up and it needs to retract. It needs to come up and it needs to retract. So with a wedding, a quinceanera, a mitzvah, you know, if you're doing a mitzvah, there's certain traditional things, that same with a kintz, that you must do and you must know the order that they need to be done in. Well, that's planning. Plan for success. Failure to plan is, is planning to fail. Yeah. said that a couple of times. So what you want to think about is how – Am I doing things? Not just, oh, it's open dancing. Let's, it's a rock party. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. No, it's, a, it's about what moments will we create in the hearts and minds of the client and the guests, which will make that segment unique. As we play songs, we segue. Oops. We will mix and transition. Why do your events not have a transition? People talk online about wanting great moments to occur. Great moments don't happen because you force them or you push them. They happen because organically because you create them. You go from moment to moment with a transition. That transition is only possible because you thought about it and planned for it. Yes. And that becomes what in music we'd call a bridge, a bridge from one part of a song to another part of a song. So think about your events from a planning perspective, think about how every event is taking people on a vacation. It's taking them on a journey. Sure. A trip. Yep. Yep. A trip. We're going to start at this point. We're going to wind through the story of Sally and Ben. We're going to introduce everyone to the room, perhaps. We're going to play some music. We'll have some sentimental dances. And for God's sakes, don't go, okay, it's time for the formal dances. Let's do the mother, son, the father, daughter. 
the bride and groom's first dance, yada, yada, yada. I mean, my gosh, that's so boring. Don't be that person. Have time. Let a moment breathe. Oh, and by the way, plan to edit all the songs for special dances, because I guarantee you in the weddings and any other family events, nobody wants to actually be on the floor alone for four or five minutes. Yeah. Yep. Trim it down. And again, how do you do that? By planning. Plan with the client that, oh, we love that song, but I don't want to be on the floor for that length of time. Have an edited version. So when you present this in your planning meetings with clients, they go, wow, that'll be awesome. I'd love to dance to that because it's great. Yep. So this becomes a value add that comes to your service that other DJs may or may not do. So by doing this, you create another unique selling proposition. You create essence so that when the event happens, the client pretty much knows what's going to happen. And it's okay to have a few surprise elements because those surprise elements will bring deep emotional rep responses. But planning is so important because it allows you to know where you are on a timeline, where you're going to be, what you need to do next. It, and it doesn't take away spontaneity mm -hmm. rather it allows for spontaneity when you if you've ever watched billy crystal back in the day when he would host the oscars there were many moments that seemed spontaneous but they were i can tell you honestly were probably not the responses were spontaneous but he had scripted several ways things would go and that allowed him to have elements that he could pick on and things would look natural. Yeah. The most important thing you can do as a DJ is plan to have a very naturalized experience for everybody in the room that it organically feels personal. Yeah. Yeah. Then That's then. why planning is important. Frankly, planning is more important than your actual delivery. In many ways. It, yeah. In the scheme of things, you can have a great delivery, but if it's the wrong story, doesn't matter. Wrong story, wrong time, not set up properly, uh, delivering exactly. on the back of another moment. I mean, there's just so many things that can go wrong, and all of that can be handled by preparing and planning properly. And, and, and planning, make sure there's no surprises at the event that were unplanned. There's nothing happens like you go, Oh, that didn't go over well. And the client's giving you the, the stink eye going, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Well, planning solves that. You've talked about all these various things. And with the planning comes conversation, which comes knowledge of the person at a deeper level. And you get to the roots of building a great event. And that makes each event unique. And that, when you make those unique events that stand out, creates that demand that we're looking that, for. That's what creates demand. This is video number six in our 10 part series. We're going to be going to video number seven and video number seven is kind of part two of our little three part mini series inside this. And this one we're gonna be talking about emceeing and why that is important and how it's evolved from what it used to be into what today's clients expect. So we'll be back with that in just a moment if you're watching the playlist. If not, the link is down below and you can click on that and go to the full playlist and we'll be right back with video number seven. 